Okay, so we're recording now. Do you want to explain what you're doing? Well, these are calming points. I use them all the time on sled dogs to calm them down, and they hardly ever work, but I put them in anyway. <laughs> um, you don't, in humans, you, your acupuncturist will ask you to hold still while the needles are doing their job. It's too hard to get sled dogs to do that, so I do the best I can. Sometimes the needles fall out. Um, I haven't had a dog eat a needle yet. That was always my fear, but they'll fall out. When yeah. they move, they can be zingy, get, cause a little bit of pain. Are they working on you? You know, she's the calmest she's been since she's been inside. Are they working? <laughs> yeah. Good. Wow. And they'll roll around. The needles are very, very flexible. I've had them come out bent 90 degrees. I put There's a lot of points in their back I use because there's a lot of pain, but they're very, very flexible. You can bend them almost 90 degrees and they shouldn't break off. Yeah. So, want some on your back? Okay. Come on up front. And when I worked on these dogs a lot, um, when Vern was competitive, they'd come in and stand perfectly still and let me work on them. Once you've done this, and even my dogs at work that belong to clients, and I only see the dogs every once in a while, a lot of times they'll come in and put their bum right up against me and I'll start my chiropractic evaluation. Hmm. A lot of the, and a lot of times you ask about how do I know where the points are. Sometimes this is an active point. I can tell by the way it feels. It feels that there's a whole series of points along the spine. This one's an active point, and dogs are often sensitive when I hit a point like that. And sometimes when I put needles in points like that, I'll get a reaction from the dog. They'll look at me, or sometimes they'll try to bite me, but <laughs> depends on how painful the dog is. Yeah. You, you know where the academically you've been taught where the points are, but a lot of times points that need to be treated will feel different. And it's something I, uh -huh. it took me a long time to learn. It's some, this sort of voodoo stuff. I still, I'm such a Midwest pragmatic person that it's hard for me to not call it voodoo, but I really think it does make a difference. Then you can mm -hmm. I'll we'll try and get a close-up of her head. Maybe bring her over here and I'll see what the, uh, yeah, bring her right up to the camera. Optimistically, like I'm going to be able to do that. <laughs> And this is Nettie with the. Lynette. Lynette, I'm sorry. V Vinette, V I. Vinette. Her dad was Vinny. Okay. This is she Vinette. Just like her dad. This is Vinette with the acupuncture needles in her head, which have calmed her down a little bit, actually. A little actually. bit. A little yeah, bit. she was rolling yeah. around on the ground before. Neat. And they are very flexible, and uh, they really they can't push in any further if the dog leans against something. Well, they, they can, but they don't. They're, there's a coil. They're coiled, so and usually you don't set them. To, these are shorter needles. I use shorter needles where there's bone close to the skin. Longer needles back here on the back. Her, the first, my first patient before I even did the training was her dad. Vinny, and he had mm. back problems, but he was such a strong dog that the needles would come out bent. Just his muscles, the strength oh, of his wow. muscles on his spine. And he wouldn't stand any stiller than she does. Mm. Do, are, are there different gauge needles for yes, dogs like that? Yes, there are different gauge needles. And these yeah. gauges, these are a little bit smaller than humans yeah. size because their dogs are smaller than And them. I guess for, for my dogs, you'd need something like rebar. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Rebar and a, and there's a, a, there's and a, a fine, ball peen hammer. There's a fine distinction. You can get these, there's a needle that is even less painful than this one called wow. serum, but it won't stay in. Yeah. In a sled dog like this, they, they would have been scattered all over. There's needles that they can't knock out, but when I put them in, they hurt really bad. Yeah. So these needles don't hurt very much. Mm. They stay in pretty well when they move around. And I can find them, except on the silvery Siberians are really hard to find. But oh, yeah, yeah. The darker sled dogs. Great. Well, thanks, Susan. Thanks sure. for the demonstration.